Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself, the Warrior Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is role assignment. Oftentimes, we get a role in the celestial or the infernal realm or even the vampiric realm once we made our transition. But did you know, depending on your consciousness and how progressive you are with your magic, you can learn your role right here, right now. So I've done that, and I know many other people who are into magic have done the same. Now, there are various heavens. There's, there's more than one heaven. There's seven heavens. Now, this has been spoken about by the Gnostics. And I was curious about something that I was asking pertaining to myself. So this is what I would do. I would ask an angel or a demon for your role assignment. And if they both agree on it, then you pretty much know. And I'm going to give you a cheat code in a little while. Now, there was a show I used to really enjoy. Star Trek Deep Space Nine with Avery Brooks as Benjamin Sisko. In it, there was a shapeshifter, Odo. Odo was a constable. Now, this is the cheat code, so listen up. One of my students, Legend Archer, his father made his transition. Now, what is he on the other side? And you got to appreciate this. He's a constable. Now, constable is a British term that means police officer. But if you expound on the definition, it means a high ranking officer in a royal court. And I remember when I was speaking with Ledger's father, I said, what was they thinking when they gave you power? And he said, yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. And we both laughed about it. Hilarity ensued. So depending on the human circumstances, not only your consciousness, but let's say life just gets in the way and you don't get to obtain something that you wanted so badly in your mortal existence, guess what? You will obtain that on the other side. Now, the cheating code is work with your ancestors. Work with those who made their transition, like your favorite aunt, your favorite uncle, your father, your mother. They will be forthcoming and honest with you. And here's another thing. They set up their astral temple to what time was preferable for them. Marvos can help with that, with your temples. But the thing that I like working with Orbis, he will always answer truthfully any of the questions that the sorcerer may have. That's why I like dealing with him. I love dealing with him. Let me let me take that back. I love dealing with him. And I will tell you some things that uh, certain occultists they already know. Even people, let's say you have an affinity. Bruce Lee attained the Godhead and Bruce Lee was an atheist. Historian Dr. John Henry Clark. Dr. Clark works as the Akashic Records. OK, and there's different classes, just like there's different heavens, there's different classes of demons or angels. Now, how would you know? This is the role assignment. Angels can have various wings, not just the two that you used to when you look at the movies. They can have upwards to like anywhere from six to eight. Same thing with dragons. Lucifer's black dragon aspect. Lucifer has four legs and has various Wings. Beelzebub, same thing. Different wings or hands. This is how you know the role or the ranking of a dragon form of the demon or even the angel. That's how you will know their ranking. So everyone gets a role assignment. It could be good. It could be bad. It could have been something that you were manipulated into or by the demiurge or whatever. But everyone has a rank and a role when they leave here. So don't let no one tell you otherwise. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.